Welcome fellow travelers, Mod Maven here, and I'm happy to bring you a review of this beautiful paradise planet. We're in the Euclid Galaxy in a Corvax Tier 3 economy. Glyphs will be shown throughout, so if you like the vibe here and want to build a base, go ahead. But do be aware of other bases and in in your surroundings. We'll check out this planet and some of its characteristics. Then we'll jump up to the rest of the system and check out a couple of those. We'll go up to the space station and check out the S-Class upgrades and some of the ships available in the system. And then we'll come back here and round it all out with a vibe score. Let's get to it. All right, we call this one Sunflower Blue uh, for our brilliant blue water down there that we see down through some of those jutting rock formations there. Uh, sunflower for the massive uh, flora here. These really cool tall trees that are that are hanging out. As you can see here, we've got a really nice kind of yellow haze coming through with our, our yellows and oranges and reds. Nice green grass really complements each other well. Some plateaus there, some floating islands, etc. Just a really nice look here. As we make our way over to check out some of our featured fauna for this one as well, I wanted to show you this brilliant blue water and also talk about weather and resources. So let's hop over here. So star bulb, copper, paraffinium, and sodium, fairly common uh, resources, resources there for a paradise planet. Of course, blissful weather. Uh, sentinels are minimal. Don't have to worry about sentinels or any sort of storms on a true paradise planet like this one. Okay, featured fauna time. Check this guy out. Kind of a, a green eyeball, squishy guy with his mushroom head. He's pretty cool, huh? Making funny sounds and running around. You can get these as companions, so those are fun to, to kind of hop around on. So that's some, some cool fauna. There's also, uh, oh, there's a little baby one. Check him out. <laughs> cool. There's also um, a Sid-like creature here, like from Ice Age, a little groundhog kind of th looking guy. Ouch. Uh, and some other stuff to check out. But again, as we're looking at this this fauna, check out these, these mists through here. It really adds a depth to this planet that is really beautiful. I mean, look at all, all of this through here. Just the greens and yellows. It just really goes well together. And it is just super fun to just roam around and, and check everything out. It's very peaceful. Just a really, really nice look to this planet. Also, I wanted to give you a really quick view of inside a cave here. So we have a bit of our marrow bulbs glowing away in here with a nice kind of yellow green and some of our bright blue water here in the, in the cave as well. Pretty nice. Kind of a final word on topography as we look around here at this kind of higher vista here. Of course, we got these rolling kind of hills and, and into kind of mountain ranges there. Um, we had some of those uh, rock formations jutting out. Some of these float, some of them are, are kind of gr more grounded. Really gives it a, a sense of kind of grandeur here, uh, especially through all this mist. Uh, really beautiful. Well, that looks familiar, right? <laughs> okay, out here in our system, we want to check out our paradise planet here, give a little bit better view of the kind of ratio of water to land there, some nice uh, breakup with uh, quite a bit of water actually, and some good decent amounts of land to build on as well. Uh, looks pretty Earth-like. Of course, we saw it down on the planet itself. It's got kind of a you know a hazy yellow look to it um, that kind of goes really well with that nice uh, green grass and blue water. So our other featured uh, planet here for, for this one uh, is actually a tropical planet. Um, I'm going to put up some screenshots of these uh, as we talk about them, but I wanted to talk about the tropical planet first. Uh, it has some nice blues, it's got some mushrooms, and some of the kind of swamp trees that are, are really good and, and, and look nice. Um, as far as the other planets, we're just going to go through those really quick. Uh, I'll put up screenshots. So we have a nuclear planet, a miasmatic planet, an icy moon, and a high radio source planet. Okay, let's talk ships for this system. This is the first wave. I let 
I stood by my ship that's right in the middle there and reloaded here on the space station. So we got a, a nice little red and white fighter here. A couple of shuttles came in in our first wave. So in any system, you're going to have 21 different configurations of ships. That's things like the color and the wings and the engine style, that sort of thing. So in this one, since we're in a Corvax Tier 3 economy, we're going to have more explorers, uh, like that one in the back there. Uh, so that's an explorer right there. So we're going to have seven different types of those. And then we're going to have three fighters, three haulers, seven uh, shuttles, and then we're going to have one exotic. Yes, there is one exotic in every system. Um, I actually like this <laughs> this uh, explorer right here, kind of a light green and red. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put up a couple of other screenshots. In particular, uh, this is my fighter, but there is another fighter in this system that's a stubby that is really cool. It's kind of a orangish yellow into red a little bit. Um, a little bit of gold going on kind of in between it's a really nice looking ship I'll put up a screenshot of that um, it's nice with a stubby because it has gold on it already in any color on the front of the nose and so it is if you have some of that orangish yellow and red kind of going along with the gold it really looks good and it's got a nice little droid on it and a, and a single thruster so that's a really nice one <laughs> look at that guy look at that little mini hauler that's pretty cool <laughs> I like that got like no wings or anything on it that's pretty cool let's talk s-class upgrades so these are the upgrades available on the left hand side when you come in right over there so uh, I'll put that up on the screen here and we'll go over a couple of uh, highlights of those actually for this one we really are only looking at the multi-tool um, there, there isn't anything for the exo exocraft or starship a couple of things for the exosuit and then for the multi-tool we have the bolt caster, the plasma launcher, the mining beam, and the scatter blaster so not too bad there. It is an A-class cabinet so I want to let you know that um, if you want to do a reload on any of the other planets. Here's another view of that awesome stubby fighter I was telling you about. It even has kind of a darker chrome on it. It's pretty nice. Check it out. Uh, so at this point we're going to head down to our paradise planet and give this one a vibe score. See you down there. All right, now it's time to give this one a vibe score. The vibe score is a measurement of kind of, it's very subjective, but <laughs> kind of a measurement of how it makes me feel kind of to hang out and vibe for a while and just kind of explore the planet, etc. This one's super nice. I mean, you've got this green grass into the, the kind of sunflowers, as I call them, these really tall trees, um, really nice, brilliant blue water scattered throughout. Uh, rolling hills, plenty of room to to, to kind of build. Uh, not a not a lot of like amazing uh, fauna on this one. A, a couple of fun ones, of course. Um, but this sort of yellow haze during the day, and then uh, just the greens and the blue water. It just is a really really beautiful planet. We're gonna give this one an eight out of ten. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to catch that vibe.